All right, Adam, first of all, Adam, thank you for coming up. Thank you for having us. And joining us. Well, a couple things I mentioned to Coach Bada before this game would be last year's performance by the Panthers at Plum. 33-7 loss. Plum had not done much all season at that point in week three. They win 33-7. But as a player, did you remember this week in preparing for this game when Coach Matt Morgan leading 33-7 with four minutes left in the game going for that onside kick? Was that like kind of rubbing salt in the wounds you thought last year? Um, of course I remember that onside kick. I mean, it was his coach's decision, but, you know, it's up to him. We just had to battle back. We didn't play the best game last year, but uh, I think really stepped up today and we showed that we got back at him, I think. What I liked was the way the team started offensively and defensively uh, in this game tonight. And then looking at uh, my tally, on the opening drive of the game for Frank the Region, after the defense gave you a three and out, uh, two big pass plays. Talk about that first one because one of the things when I went to watch Plum play last week since Frank the Region wasn't playing, I decided to go get a look at the Mustangs to see what they had. And I thought that the Plum secondary against Hyden has had trouble defending the middle of the field. Is that something you guys were aware of and came out with the first play to attack the middle? Uh, yes, that's exactly what we did. We saw Highlands ran the exact same play. I think we just ran. They put the running back right down the middle of the field and the linebacker didn't cover him and it's open. Safety split the field, so the middle is open. You made a good throw and of course uh, the, uh, Evans, the gentleman is standing to your right, made the nice catch and run. And we'll talk with him in a moment. Passing tonight, I thought you were pretty accurate. Uh, you moved the ball around to a lot of receivers. They were making catches for you, doing a good job running after the catch. Uh, talking with you, Adam, coming into this year, you know, what are your expectations in terms of your style of play? You want to get a little better at passing? You still want to be an effective runner? But how are you going to approach the passing game? How important do you think it is to the Panthers' success? I think it's very important. I mean, we have the speed at receiver, the the strength of the tight end to catch the ball and run. You just saw Giorgio Diacopoulos. He had a good catch and run earlier in the game, and uh, I trust these receivers. I mean, I know they're going to get open. I know they'll catch the ball, and they'll hang on. I mean, it's a huge part of our game, I think, and uh, we can do whatever we need to do to win the game. 45 nothing. it's a half. Uh, you really just put the game by the throat. And I know coming in here, you always think, you know, you're going to win and play well, but did you think you'd be 45 to nothing considering how offensive-minded Plum was against Highlands last week? I didn't think we'd – win by this much at the halftime but uh you know it's always our goal to come out be the best we can and try to win you now first snap then the last snap you know talk about mike evans this is a young man that last year early in the season showed some promise coach bottle will talk about his skills and looking forward to getting him out there on the field a lot he makes the big play for you down there offensively on that first touchdown to set the tone talk a little bit about what's good about him as a wide receiver he's an athlete he'll get open he'll catch the ball he'll run with the ball i didn't think he'd be Again, the end zone, honestly, I thought he'd get cut off, but his speed and his skill, he got there. I, he reached for it. It was a good run by him. A lot of players that have logged a lot of football graduated from last year. You had over 20 seniors there about, mm -hmm. give or take maybe one or two that I'm not thinking about. A lot of players like yourself going to your senior year, expectations high. Mike Evans, Leopold, we're going down the list. Justin Johns had another outstanding all-around game for you tonight. Is this group – Ready and excited about taking on the mantle of being the leaders for this Franklin Regional team in 2018, Adam? We're very excited. We're excited about our offense. We're excited about our defense, special teams as well. We're excited. We just want to win games. We just want to go out and be the best we can and show what our confidence, what we can do. And well, speaking about getting offense from your defense, Justin Johns on that 40-yard interception return. The ball looked to be deflected. He reacts like he was a pro DB. <laughs> Catching the ball off the deflection and showing some running ability. That had to get you guys jazzed up on the field. Yeah, that was very exciting. I think, I think he'd get it. You know, he's, what, 6'2", 245. Yeah. He's big fridge, you know. I didn't think he'd make it, but, but he, he took he, it he and, took and it, yeah. danced I mean, across the field. Yeah, he athletic ability and got there outside, and he scored. It was awesome. It was and so what and doesn't that give a team – on both sides of the ball, what a lift yeah. when you get a defensive touchdown. Not just exactly. the interception, but you turned it into six exactly. points or seven points with the extra point. Yeah, it just gives us the energy and motivation that we know that we can come in and win a football game. You know? Now, you're a senior. I've talked to your father the last few years and, and your mother. Uh, she's also involved in leadership on the Parents Club. Talk a little bit about what your college plans are. Is football or sports a part of that? And if so, uh, what type of institution do you think you're looking to go to? Um, yeah, I'm playing. I'm, I'm trying to play football in college. You know, I'm. I want to wait to end the season to see what all happens. But uh, I've had a couple of visits and I've went to a couple of camps this off season. And uh, 
I'm just excited to see what my opportunities I can get with our next level. Well, Coach Bada talked to me before the game today, as I usually do, uh, in my pregame chat. And he said, looking at this season, he said, we've got to score more points this year. He says, Jonathan, I think we averaged 17 points a game. That's not going to cut it against this type of competition. Did you guys handle that, that expectation? You think that he was very clear in telling you, we got to score more points? Right, I think he was exactly clear with that. I mean, our line played extremely well. I had plenty of time. I think I touched twice this game. I mean, awesome. I, a huge team effort offensively. Even defensively, you said Justin scored a touchdown, pick six, and uh it was amazing this game. Was Before awesome. you go and hand the microphone over to Mike Evans, give it to Mike. Mike, you're senior quarterback. You got a chance today to play the full game and have that opportunity to catch the ball from Adam. Talk a little bit about what he, what's his strengths as a quarterback. Uh, Rudd's just – he's incredible. He, like, will be in – he he knows how to read defenses real well. And he'll look over at the receivers and call an audible and we'll get a big play out of it. And that's just – he has the arm to be a great quarterback and go to the next level, and I'm excited to work with him all year. How frustrating Mike Adams was it for you last year. You gave us a tease <laughs> of some of the things you showed tonight, but the injury bug came up, and I really had Coach Botta, you and a couple other players, uh, Commissioner Gordon, getting hurt, but he was so much expecting you guys to be a big part of the team. You had to watch a lot. How difficult was it for you to sit on the sidelines and not be able to help this team uh, do a little bit better in terms of the conference standing. Uh, it was it was the biggest blow I could have ever imagined. I um I thought that I was I was on track to have a pretty decent year with Adam and um whenever it happened I tried to come back for at least the playoffs and that didn't work out. But I did everything in my power to come back as strong as possible this year and hopefully I can keep this up. The injury, no ill effects from last year? You feeling about 100%? I feel 100%. Okay, well, that's, that's a good thing to know. I'm going to ask you your thoughts about this team's expectations. This year, in terms of preseason rankings, the Panthers not getting the kind of love that they have gotten a lot in recent years. Do you guys take that as a motivating factor and say, well, all of a sudden they think that we're not going to be the type of team this program has been. We're going to prove the doubters wrong by what we accomplished in 2018? Uh, we're um. In the 5A conference, we're used to being the underdog mm -hmm. and coming back and proving everybody wrong. Mm -hmm. And the coaches, they just they prepare so well for every single game. We've been preparing for Plum for months now, mm -hmm. and there's no better way I could have thought that this game could, game could have turned out. Did Plum do anything different than you were, were expecting coming in no. offensively? No. They, um, they, w the defensive coordinators, they prepared us perfectly for what they were doing. We practiced all week, and a lot of the stuff that they had was they had some good plays set up, but we were prepared so well for them. I like the tackling that you guys were doing. Uh, you weren't giving up a whole lot of yards after the guys started to make the initial tackle, and I thought the defense was rallying to the football when you had to. Yeah, um, that's – we, in our past scrimmages – that's what we've been preaching, just mm -hmm. tackle, 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 because we didn't do such a great job of it. But every single day we'd do a good 15, 20 minutes of just tackling drills, and it paid off today. Mike, uh, your defensive coordinator almost gets the shot on oh. the defense there. I thought the, the safety coming underneath was going to make a play on that yeah. ball, but just didn't get there, and that ended the shutout. How important would it have been for you to give your D.C. a shutout on the opening week? You still win the game easy, but oh, yeah. I know I'm thinking up here the only mystery I said left in the fourth quarter would be whether the defense would pitch the shutout almost. Yeah, um, at halftime, uh, Coach Pip was talking to us, and we told him that we were going to get him the shutout, and he told us that that didn't matter to him, just like as long as we kept the lead and won the game and just did what we could do and didn't back down. He was happy. Talking with Mike Evans, uh, coming back from an injury play a uh, year before and getting off to a great start along with the senior quarterback, Adam Rudzinski. Maybe share with our viewers out there that's getting a chance to see you. One of the things we would like to do after the games we do on video is if Coach Boddy can send the player up and let the folks get a chance to see you. They hear me call your names and describe your exploits, but then come up and let a chance for our audience to get to, to, to watch. So we thank him for having you come up. Looking at your future, is college and athletics something you're thinking about doing? Oh, yeah. I've been thinking about it since, like, my, my whole life. It's been a dream to go play college football anywhere. Um, I'm just excited to see the opportunities as the season goes on. And hopefully – Rudd, being a great quarterback, can open up as many opportunities as possible. Next week, you go to Latrobe. They got thrashed by a good uh, McKee Sport team uh, tonight. But last year, you, I'm sorry, Adam, you remember that, 23-20 ball game. It'll be for them a team 0-2, smarting. And I remember Plum last year 
going into that game. They were Owen uh, had lot scored but uh, three field goals all year. Any concern about going to Gray Latrobe after their 0-2 and, and not bringing the same level of energy and emotion that you played with tonight in your season opener? Um, after last year, we we've just been we know not to underestimate any of our opponents, especially like Plum, right. especially tonight. And you know Latrobe, they had a big comeback against us last year, and we're not going to let that happen again. So well tonight. If I'm giving out the grades, I'm giving a lot of A's out, but I'm not the coach. But I thought that the way your team started, the way you played, uh, I thought it got a little chippy, though, by Plum. Was there some talking on there in that, was it the third quarter? They kept getting called for personal fouls. Was there any chatter? Uh, that's just the way football is, right. you know. I like that answer. Yeah, yeah I like that that's, answer. Just, that, that's right. football for you. So. All right, well, yeah, it's part of the game, right? And if you're not talking, then maybe you're not necessarily in the game. Mm -hmm. Guys. What a way to start the 2018 season. For folks that had maybe some questions about it and with Plum's surprisingly offensive performance last week, a lot of people say, okay, let's see here. You know, is Plum making a rise up? Is Franklin Regional maybe not going to be up to par? I think you took that doubt away. Congratulations on yes, a big sir. victory. Good luck. I'll see you next week at Radio Latrobe. <laughs> Mike Evans, Adam Rudzinski, two of these outstanding veteran members of this team that had great games tonight along with some of the other young men. We talk about Justin Johns, Jack Poling, and we could go on and on about some of those guys. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, thank you, okay, they're going to go change. What's up for the Labor Day weekend? Any picnics? Watch college football. Watch college football. All right, there you go.